I'm trying to find some good lighting in my house. But hopefully I have found it. Okay. This look is going I don't know. It's basically blues and whites, so I kinda think of it as blues and whites. Blah blah blah. So I think of it as like Arctic, like snowy winter time, even though it's summer. So it, you know, it's pretty. So getting on with what's going on. That of course now my dogs want to start playing with each other being all out. And there's Lily. Okay. So this is just like this white color, this first color. It's just this white color that I have. And it actually was a solid, but I broke it up and made it loose and put it in its own little pot thingy. So you're going to take that and put it all over your lid. Why does it look like I think I'm going crazy. Just thought I'd show that with you guys. But I'm going to take it and put it all over your lid. Like so. And get nice, pretty snowy look, of course. And then you want to take your light blue. I'm just going to take our paddle brush. I'm going to take it and put it in the middle and take it to the outside. Okay. Simple enough. And then we're going to take the blue. And this is just this dark, like, navy blue. And it's a matte, and the other ones are like a shimmer, so... It will look a little different. But I see nothing wrong with mixing um, shimmers and mattes. That word was hard to think of. Okay. And then you just want to take this fluffy thing. And this is what I used for the white. So. You're going to blend it out. This always happens to me. I don't know if it happens to anyone else, but I kind of like it. But I always get, like, eyeshadow right here. And it ends up, like, under my eye. And I just kind of spread it out because I really like the way it looks. So, even if your eyeshadow doesn't end up where you always want it to, it can kind of be good sometimes. Okay. So that's pretty much it. You just put the white all over and then the light blue and then dark blue. Like super simple quick. I don't know. <sighs> Maybe my tutorials aren't that crazy. But that's kind of good. Because I want more of a wearable thing. But I also want to... I don't know. I don't know. But that's what it looks like. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take these colors. But we're going to do it something different. Okay? Hey guys. Today we're going to do... Why does my computer do that? You hear it started and then it turned off. It does that all the time. But what we're going to do this time is we're going to do like the reverse of this. I guess you could say. I don't know. What are we going to do? <laughs> so weird. Is take our paddle brush. This is like a two for two looks in one tutorial. <sighs> take our paddle brush with our light blue. And we're going to put our light blue all over our lid. all the way up into the crease, everywhere. Okay? Whoa! Super 80s lady going on there. I don't know why, but that makes me think of 80s. Like little kids pretending they know how to do makeup. I don't know. Okay. And then we're going to take the same small and go into our dark blue. And we're going to take it and just like go with the lash line. <sighs> There's so many weird noises going on in my house right now. So we just want to go on the lash line. We don't want to go up with it. We just want to go right along the lash line. <sighs> so it looks like that. 
And then we're going to take our fluffy brush and dip into our white. And we're going to help blend, kind of mute out that light blue. But we don't want to completely lose the light blue. But we, what we want is we want the dark blue where our eyelashes are, and then the light blue over the lid, and then the white on top of that. But we want it all to kind of like fade together. We don't want it like harsh lines, of course. But it's just a different way to wear these three colors. Like here, we pretty much did like a smoky eye. But this, this kind of it still kind of looks like a smoky eye, but it isn't a traditional smoky eye, I guess you could say. And we're going to put that all above our lashes. But we don't want to go like super up with it. And then take our white and blend it up. So you guys see that? This is like, I don't know, this is like a cool blue. So when you're hot in July, which, no, it's not July yet, but in the hot weather, do a cool eye, and it'll cool you off. I'm, I'm so cheesy sometimes, but, yeah. So over here, we did like a smoky eye with it, where we did the white right here, then the light blue, then the dark blue. Okay? And then over here, we took those same colors, but we did the blue... I need a smaller pointer. We, here. We did the blue only on the lash line, and then the light blue all over, and then the white helped blend it all out up here. So, it gives you these two different kind of looks. Like, there's that one. And then, here's this one. So, I don't know. I kind of like this side better than this side. But, yep, that is my Arctic blue, cold weather, cool you off in the um, summer kind of look. I'm a silly person. I, don't ask me. Anyway, but there's just two different ways to wear blues. Excuse me. I have to take up. Two different ways to wear blue. Um, you could do like, I don't know, I, I would call this like a classic smoky eye just in the technique of it and then this one which is <laughs> this cool new smoky eye that I totally invented not really but yeah I don't know what else to say but I hope you guys like it as always I hope it inspires you and don't mind the rest of my face because I'm not wearing makeup so don't look at this part only look at this part but yeah I hope you guys like it and uh, have a super awesome day Bye. <laughs>